Good morning, it's Vape AM. And this morning, it's the Aspire Dynamo Kit, which is really cool. Check this out. Let me get it up for you. It's Vape, it's Vape AM. We got the Aspire Dynamo Kit with dual 21700s and this new tank called the Nefo. Yeah. Good morning. Made a little song about that too. Hope you're having a great morning. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Vape AM. The show that comes on every Wednesday morning and Saturday morning. It is the morning show for vape. We're located here at Orville Vaping Headquarters, which is wherever I'm at. And I am just getting up, having some coffee. Today we're unboxing this thing, but we do reviews, interviews, hang out. I pontificate and rant. We go to shows. I want to say hello to everybody who's here live. Josh, Rob, Dr. Dolphy, Ed, uh, Angelo, JT Munn. Hey, it's great to see you. Mike Burgenek, everybody. Saw Jeremy Fuchs earlier this morning. It was great. Good morning. This is a view of my coffee cup and the Dynamo kit from Aspire. This thing is super cool. It's got dual 21700s, which we've been waiting a long time for Aspire to give us a dual mod that uses the new the new battery style, the 21 or 2700. So I'm super excited. The closest thing I have to this is maybe the blade or the... Um, diamond because they're regulated and i'm going to compare those to you uh to this thing for you a little bit this morning it's gonna be kind of cool uh morning josh great to see you i'm vaping on amour from van gogh vapes and my comparison set is this diamond and the mage tank and amour from van gogh vapes and it looks like where did i put that right here ding 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 and we're going to do the same thing in here put that in there we got the batteries and everything so I hope you're having a great morning. Ah, uh, I am. And be sure you have a cup of beautiful caffeine. I just cannot live without caffeine. And there it is. I'm drinking extremely highly caffeinated tea right now. So you should be drinking some coffee or some tea yourself. What is the vaping news? The vaping news is that President Trump's mismanagement of our economy is going to cost you 25% more on your vape gear. Vape gear is about to get taxed 25% because of Trump. So unvote these idiots out of office, y'all. Like, these people need to come out of office. They're all insane. And this whole tax thing is an insane strategy. No one thinks that's a good idea except for the insane orange jerk in office. So get rid of that. And until then, you're going to be paying 25% more. Sorry, can't do anything about it because a capricious weirdo just decided to start having this trade battle with China for no reason, <clears throat> even though we're dependent on Chinese products. So they want you to be smoking. And like I said, all I can tell you is go complain to the Republicans because it's their fault. So I am so excited about having an dual 21700 kit from Aspire. It is just blowing my mind. This, we're going to put our 30 T's in there. This thing is uh, a little bit bigger than I expected. Like I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller than it was, but it's super great. You can fit anything on it. Let's look at the box real close. Get that thing out of the way. Uh, it's got a picture of it on the front and then your standard Spire uh, gear in the back with the address, but it's got the, the mod, the tank, an extra tube, O-rings, two coils, and all of the appropriate things. There are no batteries in this kit that I got. I don't think they sell this with batteries in it. So you'll have to provide your own 18650s, 2700, or 21700 mods. It uses any of these three. Dude, Mang says you just finished an awesome build in a zoo single. That's good. Hey, Tom King. Good morning, everybody. So the first thing I noticed about this thing is that it's made of plastic. I didn't realize this thing would be all plastic, but if you guys remember, we've been... Uh, looking at mods like the like the Puxos, and Aspire is experimenting with making low-cost injection molded plastic mods, and with the Puxos, they definitely succeeded. And I think with the Dynamo, they also definitely succeeded. And what I realize is that I don't love this texture right here. It gives it kind of a cheapness. Overall, this thing is so lightweight, it's really good. It weighs about the same or less than my Captain empty, and that is a good thing. Just about the closest thing I have to this is a captain. It looks just like a captain, except it's a little bit larger and uses 21 instead of 2,700 batteries. These things both have no problem putting the biggest stuff on here. This is my 30 millimeter Zathog from Cthulhu, which fits on both of these really well. And we will, of course, 
bust out the Titan, which it fits on the Titan better than it has on any other mod, <laughs> mainstream mod anyway, except for the the Dragon V4. But so that's not too bad. I'll get a picture of that on Instagram later. Right there. It's clarifying for us in the audience that it's correct. It does not come with batteries. And there is my plastic that's still on there, and I'm leaving that. Uh, it has a slider-style door and comes with an 18650 adapter, which we'll never use, but I appreciate them doing this. And this is thick rubber. It has a significant bottom, so there's no reason to think that's ever going to be anything but great. I'm just putting the batteries in right here. It's in there. There it is. Aspire, 76 watts, it says. Let's take a look at the tank. And you can tell that I didn't charge these this morning. But those are the battery meters right there, one and two. The wattage, voltage, their ohm resistance, and the amperage. And what mode we're in, normal, soft, or hard. It's pretty cool. The screen is absolutely fantastic for vaping. It gives you all the information you need. Super huge. And I'll show you how to set the delays and all the timers. Let's go through the rest of the box. This is our Nefo tank, and I love the Nefo tank. The Nefo is a little bit like any clearomizer, but it has a press fit bottom and coil, and I'll show you that in just one second. It comes with a replacement coil, replacement glass, instruction manual, warranty information, and battery safety information, which I always appreciate from Aspire, plus all the extra O-rings you need, which is really good. Comes with a USB charger and the extra coil. Let me just put this away. And this is our coil. The coils are kind of significant and chunky. This is the new 0.15 60 to 75 watt Nefo mesh coil. And as you can see, it's a big old piece of mesh with a bunch of layered cotton in there. And this is a two layer coil. Can you see that there is a gold retainer? I'm sorry, not gold, but there's a stainless steel retainer in this coil. And there's cotton on the outside and it's wicking around inside to there. That's pretty interesting. It's got three huge inlet holes and one, two little small ones. I'm sorry, it's two and two, it's not three and two. Uh, and this is the bottom. It is this whole unit that we put inside the bottom of the tank. And here's the tank. I like it because it's 24 millimeters wide. It's a very wide thing. And it has a pretty interesting top. Let me, I'll show you how the top works in a second, but it took me forever to figure out. You have to fill this thing, you have to find this little dot. It, this thing is free turning and pull up and push back on that. I actually had to read the manual to get that. There's no ring in there. It's a little bit like a lot of the people who are putting these hinges on top. And then to close that, and then it free turns. This is an 810 top, and all 810s fit in here. Look, even our friend Jeremy's huge size 810 fits right inside there, almost all the way to the side. It looks cool. It's a great look. I have been vaping on that like that. And the bottom unscrews here. To take the glass off, you unscrew this retainer. There's a simple retainer ring, and then you just slide the glass off, and it comes off easily. Don't try to force it. And then get it back on. There's an O-ring in there and an O-ring here as well. And just push it up on the top, and then screw this back down. Like I said, this up on the top, it rotates freely. So I can tell y'all that I was not excited about the half ohm coil. There are two coils that come with this. And the half ohm coil is the one over here, the Nefo half ohm. And it's, it's good. It's a passable dual. It looks like a 26. Oh, it might be a triple, actually. I didn't look at it that closely. Uh, 26 comes in half ohm, and it's okay. Flavor is mediocre at best. And this is what everybody is writing home about. The new Aspire Nefo mesh coil. I haven't tried these, but everybody's told me they're absolutely fantastic. So now we're going to put this in here and try it for ourselves. 
like I said, we're using a Moore from Van Gogh Vapes. And then all we have to do is give it a quick prime down inside here. Just move my microphone away a little bit. And I see there that I've got the trapezoidal mesh shape. Can you guys tell that the mesh has got a trapezoidal gap? I'll let that get in there a little bit. With mesh goals, it's very important to make sure everything is primed and ready to go. I'm only putting maybe a total of seven or eight drops in here. I'm not going crazy. I'm letting it soak in. And you see how I'm watching until it goes to the bottom? Then we're going to soak the outsides here real quick. There's two of those. Those are for venting. All right, now we're going to put this in here and fill it up. And it just press fits in. Now we push this thing in here. And you're done. Screw the bottom on. I haven't had any problem with this thing yet. It's a little bit tricky to get out, I'll warn you. So when you're pulling these out, unscrew this thing. Pop this off and then take a towel or something. Take a paper towel. Just a little easier on the fingers. Give a little wiggle. Paper towel wiggle. It works without it too, but it's a slightly easier. That's the Nefo construction right there. It's got two O-rings in there. The coils are $5 a piece for replacement, which is about the going rate for Aspire coils. I don't think that's too bad. And to fill it up, we lift the top, push that back. Let's get this thing back down on the dynamo. I have a lot of modes to show you guys. Here we go. I'm at a bad angle, hey? I'm gonna do it left-handed. There we go. We're gonna fill it up and take a second. I'll talk specs for a few minutes while this soaks in. Whoops. I did have a little further down for you. It holds five mil which is a lot. I presume that there is a TPD version of this, but it's pretty good. It holds a lot. I want to verify that. Um, there's a lot of tank, a lot of info going on here. Not sure. Pretty sure it's four or five mil. Let me look on the back of the box. We will find that out. It's just an unboxing. So there it is. There's our kit. The warning on this thing said, I didn't see how many watts did it say on there. I think 75. All we got to do is take it apart and check it out. Is that going to drain all the way out when I pull that coil out? I would say yes. I'm going to call it 75 and we're all good. So this is the actual screen, which is super cool. I'm not taking the plastic off, so forgive me. So we take a little break here and take a vape on this. I'm Eli Juicy Jones, you're watching Vape AM, and this is the Aspire Dynamo kit that we're taking apart today here on Vape AM. Vape AM is the only morning vape show in the universe. We're here every Wednesday and every Saturday, eight o'clock for three years now. This is over three years. And I just opened this, I got the batteries in, which were my batteries charged. Got the new mesh coil in. And this is my first vape on the mesh coil. Ed's saying he runs his at 65 to 70 watts. That means I'll be running this at 75 watts. I've been running the normal coil half ohm at 75 watts, half air. But I'm trying to give this a few minutes for the coil to fully saturate. Very important. Before we do anything. And look at some of these menus that are on here. So for the menus, it's quite simple. First of all, if you double if you click on both of these buttons at once, you can click your you can pick your firing mode, which I keep on normal all the time. To change to turn off the screen and vape in stealth mode, 
you press this three times. So some people, new users, are going to think that the menu comes up if you hold on the power button three times, but it doesn't. The power button holding on three times simply makes it stealth. This is just like the Sky Star. And three clicks will turn it back on. Five clicks will lock it. And if you want the menu, what you do is you hold down the up button and the power button. Boom. To cancel menu, you press both buttons at once. If you press the power button and the back button at the same time, or down button at the same time, what you get is a lock that locks, it locks the actual wattage. So that's nice. I'm going to unlock it so we can change it. So open the menu. In the menu, you have a modes menu, this great big screen, a data menu, a system menu, a time menu, and an about. And the about just shows QR code and the version number of the software. And remember, when you're in a menu, you press both buttons to go back one. Uh, we're going to go to the time, and I'm going to show you guys how you can change all these time settings. It's really cool how many different settings there are. But first, I'm going to go into brightness and go through all the system. Actually, we'll go through system first. This will, default will set it back to the default settings. Vape time shows how many seconds this thing will allow you to vape, which is nice to be able to set that. Screen time is how much time that the screen is actually on before it goes to the clock screen. Of course, I'm going to put on about six seconds just for the show. Watch time is how long the actual clock is on the screen, which is cool. I've got that set on 15 minutes. Brightness is the brightness of the screen. I've got it on 1%, but I'm going to crank that up for y'all. Yeah, it goes very bright. In fact, it doesn't need to be that bright because you can't even read it anymore. Here, we'll go to about 45%. We'll go back a level. That's nice. Um, the language is set here, and I believe that's probably simplified Chinese and English. I'm not sure, though. Um, the main UI set, you can decide whether it shows you the vape time and the vape progress on the little bars, which is really cool. And this, again, goes back to the default settings. So under time, we can set the actual time, and don't forget to set the time on your device when you get it. Mine, it is 8.22 and 16 seconds, and it is correct. That's 8.25. I have the watch set so that it has a little clock display and the date, but if I bring up the menu, you'll notice you can change between that and many other clocks, which is really super cool. And then we just wait six seconds and it will go back to that clock. It looked like we could also preview it from this actual setting. How cool is that? Wednesday, 60% battery, 76 watts, 60%. And when we go back here, we're back into the firing menu, which shows all the information in the battery. And there's our timer. So going back to the battery or the system modes, there's a data menu that lets you change the wattage preheat, which is your firing mode like we did, the TCR, which is nickel, titanium, stainless steel, M1, M2, and M3, pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, your CPS settings, which these are the settings where you can press the button and allow it to fire in wattage mode, for example, on a little curve in case you're having problems with the temperature. This is super useful mode, and I use this all the time. Um, you can have it lock the resistance as well, which is super cool. All right, so, Modes. This is what you guys are all asking about. This thing has every mode under the sun. It's got wattage mode, voltage mode, bypass, temperature control. A, this is a uh, controlling the power curve, the curved power setting, um, which we just saw, and normal wattage. So under normal wattage, you can go up or down. It has an acceleration. Works great. I didn't have any problems with this didn't seem squirrely or strange, or in fact, everybody should just study what they've done with the curve on this thing, because it's pretty much perfect. Voltage mode lets you set straight voltage on this thing, which is pretty cool. Oops, I don't want 6.9 volts. Heck no. But this works exactly like you think it would. Bypass is straight battery bypass, which looks like we're on about four volts here out of these two batteries. Temperature control, you get to pick between the metal of the wire that you want or 
your M settings, which those of you who use temperature control are going to know exactly how that is. And these are your wattage controlled power settings, which are really fun, the curved power settings. I vape on watts most of the time, and we're vaping at 75 watts in normal mode on this little Nefo. Yum. Ooh, that's delicious. So for me, I need less airflow. So I crank the airflow down to about half air. And it's delicious. Wow, that is really delicious. Yum. That's great. So if you're looking for a new kit that gets insane battery life and comes with a new tank with mesh coils, this is going to be the one, one of the ones you're going to want to look at. I've got links for them in the, in the uh, description down there. Uh, I think that... The mod itself is about 60 bucks plus discounts and the, everything else. It's about 20 bucks more for the tank as well. So don't forget to use the Juicy Jones HQ code on there. Um, if you go to Heaven Gifts, which is where the link down there is. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I've been using this thing for several days now. It came last weekend. And I can't give a full review because we don't know um, how this battery door works. Like, is it going to pop open? It hasn't so far. Um, it is a clip style battery door, but I haven't dropped this thing on the pavement yet, so I haven't seen that. Um, the durability probably would be okay. These injection molded plastic mods work real well. I kind of wish this was a touch screen. Love the tank and the dimensions so far. It's actually slightly the same weight as my Captain, which the Captain is made of. I believe the Captain has got a little bit more metal inside of its little skin. Am I putting these in the correct way? These are the wrong batteries, y'all. How good am I? Should I do that? And they feel about the same way. The Aspire actually feels a little lighter, if you can believe it, and I will get the, the scale out here pretty soon. But so, size and weight aren't a huge deal. Weight definitely isn't, but the size of it might be a deal for some people. I personally love this thing. It's good for a pocket mod, but it's not heavy enough to be a significant beast in your pocket at all. This one's camo. It comes in a lot of nice colors, y'all. And I mean a lot. And let me show you some of the pictures. Dynamo. I've got a picture of one of these here. I don't know what I did with it, though. But I'll read them to you. Uh, it comes in red... Gosh, this thing is crazy. It comes in gray, rainbow, purple, camo, and red, which is pretty, pretty crazy good. And the rainbow looks absolutely eye-popping. It's just crazy, super crazy. I can sort of show you a Heaven Gifts window. I can't really do that on the fly right this very second. Uh, but there's links in the description. So it comes in several colors. It's pretty nice. I like this thing. So we're every Wednesday and every Saturday. If you guys are interested in this thing, click on the link in the bio. Keep tuned because we're going to see this come through. Don't forget that we had the awesome little iJoy Baby Avenger come through here on the last show. And that was really fun. I'm still working on that thing. And I got new coils for it too, which I'm really stoked about. And I've got an undisclosed thing from Aspire to show you guys pretty soon. Plus a cobble kit that came in last weekend along with this thing that I'll show you all. So we are now just about to go to the hangout phase. This show is live every Saturday and every Wednesday we're here. So if you tune in, click on the like and subscribe button down there, guys. And we're about to go into the hangout phase. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much. So very much. I really appreciate it. Tune in next Saturday. And I think that we're going to open up. I don't know. It's going to be just my choice at the time. So thanks a lot. Hangout coming up. Links in the description. Thank you. Yes, Ed. And Ed also says there, that the Aspire website has these, of course. They definitely do. Hey, Chris Juarez. Great to see you. Everybody, what do you guys think about the Nefo and the Dynamo kit? I love the Dynamo. This thing is great. It gets killer battery life. It goes on and on and on. A little bit large. It's physically larger than the Captain. Let's point the arrows the same way. It's physically larger than a captain, but it has a slight edge in that it's got a bezel on it. 
It's because they fit this large screen in there. The screen is humongous. I mean, it's got a humongous screen, and I actually prefer the regular clock. It's super easy to set everything. I've got no problem setting anything. I can even try the regular UI. Love it. Love seeing all the display go. Love the new tank. Flavor's great on this thing. We're gonna do a roundup of all of these mesh tanks. Mesh tanks, mesh tanks, mesh tanks. And we have a fire loot coming too, so we're gonna get them all together and vape them all at once, by the way. Can't wait to do that. Dr. Dolphy says no bubble glass. And yeah, I like the not bubble glass too, although the, this stuff can still crack. It's just less likely to. Bubble glass is just asking for a breakage. I haven't broken one of these yet, but I've seen them. And I haven't broken one of these yet. Uh, this one may not break because of its shape. It's so small. Uh, it is definitely not heavy. It doesn't weigh as much as the diamond, and it doesn't weigh as, quite as much as the captain, if you can believe it. So the injection molding really works to their benefit. Again, they did that with the, with the Puxos, this being all plastic. And again, with this one, it works really well. This being all plastic inside here. Oops, almost dropped my batteries. Spire. Great display. It's not a touchscreen, but I absolutely adore it. I think it's great. I really like this thing a lot. Really, a lot. <laughs> Love it. Those of you talking about the breeze too, yeah, in fact, one of the things that I can't tell you about from Aspire is related to that. I can tell you that, but you're gonna dig it. Tune in because as soon as they give me the go, I'm gonna publish a video about it. The second they say yes, I will. For now, I'm just taking pictures. Um, yeah, this thing is good. It's a full size kit. It's not really one of the small ones like you guys are saying. It's like not for the Breeze crowd, definitely. Nothing wrong with that, of course. I love my Breeze, and I use it all the time. I'm gonna go back to the menu and change the time UI back to this one, which I can read that one the quickest. I heard a report recently that some people can't read clocks these days because people are just using digital clocks. I knew that would happen one day. Compared to the Revo, I don't know. Not sure yet. I have to, I just started vaping this one. That's a good question. So far, I like this slightly more than the Revo. Part of that is aesthetic though. Oh, Chris, they sent you out a new, a new uh, Breeze. That's good. I remember you told me that and I tried to get you guys into the right email address. Um, my Breeze clips, I did my thing on my Breeze one time without the clips, without pressing the button, but it still works. I was afraid I'd broken it, but I didn't. For those of you guys who missed it, make sure you dig through the channel. You can see the episode where we did the Breeze 2, and I opened it, talked all about that thing. Love that thing. Big fan of it. That was a while ago. It was like March, and um, that was a really good one. As you're going through this guy, make sure you make a note that when you pop this up, it's hard to see this little arrow to fill this thing. I kind of wish that this were orange, just the arrow. Although I like their sort of black on black look. This thing looks fantastic. Feels great in the hands, got the right kind of bezel. Love this thing. There's nothing that won't fit on here either. Let's get back down there. As you guys saw, this is the uh, giant Zathog that we reviewed all together here probably two weeks ago from Cthulhu and I've got this thing on here. We're gonna have to crank up the watts. Oh yeah. We need even more watts for my build here. If you guys wanna see the video we did for this, it's also in the 
in the archives. It's pretty recent. Thank you to Cthulhu. Thank you to Aspire for sending these things. I mean, it works absolutely great. I wish I had my black Zathog. I can't find the black one, but it would look perfect on this. It's a great kit. If you're using the Zathog, I still think the well's too deep on that thing, but the vape on it's real good. No complaints. Tough to get off your atomizer or off your mod without scratching it. Let's see if the Zathog scratched it. Yeah, it's bound to. See, it's starting. So that's a thing. Not a bad thing. It's a thing that happens to all of them. Oh, yeah, and here we go. Ha ha ha, the Titan. The Titan is looking more and more reasonable looking. That thing's about 0.17 inside there. Got the airflow turned down. Love this thing. Gonna have to turn that up. I go back up to 150 or so. That's good. I need to change the airflow if I'm gonna vape that way though. I kind of liked it better where I had the air though, so I'm going back to 135. That's the ticket. So there's a big one for the car for you guys. Works great. That is a humongous one. Put the diamond on there. Diamond looks nice. Let me shine your diamond. I need 135 watts on that thing. Ooh, good flavor. And now, back to the Nefo. Nefo has a slightly, slightly restricted air, but it doesn't. It's got the Revo style three air hole. One, two, three. Don't be fooled. More than you think. All three air in there. Rate 75 watts. Yeah. 80 watts. Hey, Chili Dog. Bonjour, Monsieur. Great to see you. Hello, over there in France. You guys make sure you have some tea and coffee. Very important. We're so happy we have such a huge international viewership here. Denmark, Finland, France, Belgium, America, Germany, England, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia. Love all of you. I think it's good. There's a lot of air in this. That's the highest air there is. I'm about the top of where they want you to use the coils. So that's about... That's about it. Fantastic flavor on this coil. I've got the screen time set on just five seconds, but this goes away pretty quick. 22 amps, well within these batteries. This thing is good. Exposure is fairly high here. I'm vaping on 1.5. So remember that you probably don't want to use three or six in this thing, or you don't want to use six in it. Those of you who use three, I'm sure you'll be fine. Some of you who use six, you know what you're getting into already, but I vape kind of lower Nick stuff, so I'm using 1.5. <coughs> a little choky there, a lot of vapor going on in here. Let's see where we are in a live control room. Plenty of time. Uh, from the comments, we have that's a really nice screen. That's true. And that is from Chili Dog. Hey, that's great. Got a jet, got to open the shop CL. Hey, Ed, thanks for your input too. Ed sells these over at his shop in Bakersfield down there. I'm sorry, in San Diego. I forget exactly where you are right now, Ed. And you just have to forgive me. I'm sorry. Uh, Angela says, take care. Chris Roars says, that thing is nuts. Uh, Thrift King says, makes me want to get another box. Definitely. And Dr. Dolphy asking, come to the Revo. How is it? I think I may like this slightly more than the Revo. Let me just get my Revo here. So much, isn't it? I don't want...
Love the Revo. Revo is so smooth. So smooth. So smooth. Here's the mage. Not as smooth, still good. Love the mage. The mage is probably my favorite of the, the mesh tanks so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that's good. And there it is, my dynamo. Chris Juarez just recently got to the point where he just stopped watching and caring about other Vapor viewers except for Vape AM. He's talking about the drama and some reviewers just get repetitive. It's true, man. I have the feeling that they aren't really, they're just sitting there repeating the same exact script over and over again for these mods. It's this, it's got this coil. Here's your spec list. I mean, I treat you all with some respect. I rely on you guys to make decisions about whether you like to super sub ohm or whether you want to mount to lung or whether you're quitting or not. All Vapors are welcome here. We just try to be inclusive more than anything and build a community. I also don't like the drama llama and I just never interact with any of that stuff because I just think it's silly. I also get a lot of crap because I am left wing and I lean left and I'm sick of the crazy rapists and liars running this country and somehow I'm supposed to be the bad guy because I'm the guy that thinks it's not good enough to have liars and thieves. Five fucking people in the current presidential administration have pled guilty or been convicted in a court of law of heinous crimes. It is astonishing and everything points to the president being just as dirty and filthy. Oh, but somehow people are still defending this. It's astonishing. The guy bragged about grabbing women's vaginas, y'all. It's beyond the pale. Beyond the pale it makes me angry. I'm not the bad guy. Not here, not in America. Plus, we get 25% more cost. Now you pay 25% more thanks to Trump. There's nobody else to blame. He personally woke up and decided to start a trade war with China for no reason. Now you're going to pay 25% more for your vape in the next couple of years until we can get rid of him. It's, it's lunacy. Lunacy what's going on. So anyway, I try to just talk about vaping. And I really want you guys to quit smoking and stay off the cigarettes. Our friend who uh, we helped quit recently, uh, Will, he is doing great. And he is not smoking. So that is doing great. And um, what else? I don't want to go in a big rant there. I get all angry. But still love all you guys. I just am sad that America's withering away. People seem to be happy with it. People seem to be perfectly okay with anarchists and Russia taking over America. Bizarre. Ted Dawson says, who's my favorite reviewer? My favorite reviewer is nobody. I don't watch any, any other reviews. None. Not one. It'll be okay. Don't alienate people with other opinions. I don't care. People with other opinions can go away. Chili Dog, you misunderstand me, man. I don't want people that love the Republicans to watch my channel. Don't you understand? <laughs> it's not okay. I don't need them. They're the problem with America. And living abroad, you really can't understand how bad it is here. It's racists are taking over America. And it seems to be okay with everyone who voted for a Republican. And if you don't live here, you can't quite see how it is. But racists are taking over America. And if you're okay with racism, keep voting for Republicans, because that's what they like. They like racism. A dude's going to get his Jeep decked out as a bug out vehicle soon. That's funny. In fact, we're up here in Canada. It's really nice in Washington. The worst thing is that these crazy fires are happening here. We have like insane fires in British Columbia and Western Washington. And it is day after day, I've been reading reports about the particulate count in Seattle being worse than anywhere in the country or in the world almost. And I had trouble believing that, but then I went outside and looked and it was like Blade Runner. It's absolutely insane. Um, it has been absolutely Ragnarok outside. So if you guys notice all the pictures I've been posting lately on Instagram are kind of like orange tone, um, like which is kind of weird, <laughs> but hopefully this will clear up soon. We have some wind in Seattle coming in from the Southwest that's blowing out some of the air, but pretty soon here, the Western Washington fires are gonna come right back over the mountains and they're gonna smoke us out some more. So all of you that have asthma problems and need inhalers and stuff, make sure you keep that stuff handy for the next few days, especially if you live in King County. I mean, it is absolutely insane. Uh, 
And Drift King, you're absolutely wrong. He doesn't do what he says he does. What he said he was going to do was respect people and try to make things happen, but he doesn't. He doesn't do anything. Are you insane? Dude, you're not welcome here. You're totally not welcome here. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, I just want you to know you are not welcome here. <laughs> you can't, No, it's not right. Walls are bad. Racism is bad. All of that is bad. <laughs> that is so bad. None of those viewpoints are okay with me. And they're not, I don't care if your opinion is that. that is, those are just insane things. Walls are bad. There's no research that shows it's good. I mean, none of the, the crazy spicks. Are you fucking kidding? I have no tolerance for racism. None. No tolerance for racism. None. Do not ever say there's something racist in front of me. And that is one of them. So, no, definitely not. So, on that note, you know, I love all you guys. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. We're probably 40 minutes in. And we probably have maybe another five or 10 minutes. I just want you guys to know that we're still trying to get out to the West Coast Vape Expo and try to manage some of the you know, expenses associated with that. But if we can get out to, not the West Coast Vape Expo, but the Vape uh, Expo in Las Vegas on November 9th. So we're still doing that. I'm going on vacation down to Dallas where I'm from. I'm originally a Texan from Texas. You can probably tell that because I'm, because I'm so like outspoken. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're going back down there. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be the first time I've been down there in, God, almost 20 years, which is going to be really cool. I'm going to take my beautiful girlfriend, Aileen, down there and show her all the beauties of Texas. I love Texas so much. It's a fantastic place. Humongous, amazing place. And we're going to go to the State Fair. We're going to ride in the opening day parade for the State Fair, which I've arranged to, uh, for her, which is really cool. We're going to eat every fried thing under the sun. I cannot wait to eat fried stuff. Uh, fried cotton candy, fried ice cream, fried everything. I got an article recently about all the good fried stuff. I'm going to come down and we're going to visit some of the vapors, hopefully down there. I'm going to try to find some people to see and come down and spend one day um, vaping. And uh, what else? Uh, vape show, the vacation, PAX is coming up. We have a lot of stuff going on. New stuff from Aspire. So plenty of things going on here. I'm trying to get some merch here. I'm trying to get a guy to do a caricature of me to put on a t-shirt, which would be cool. My friend. Because that would be cool. You guys have never had a t-shirt with me on there. That'd be good. Hey, there's Brady. Good morning, buddy. Brady, Brady, I love you, buddy. Yeah, what else is going on? So this is the Dynamo. I like it. I think I'm going to charge up a bunch of batteries. Maybe use the Titan. Take a picture. Yeah. That might be a little bit much. What did I say, 135? Yeah. <laughs> Happy clouds holding a pallet of vape stuff. Charles Hill said it's a Texas size tank. That's totally true. I should take this thing down there. Wow, you actually gave me a good idea, Charles. It looks like my airflow ring is a little bit frozen down there right now. Oh yeah, why didn't I do that, Brady? This thing is smaller than the blade. Brady wants to see a size comparison with the blade. Thanks for the reminder, buddy. It's shorter and smaller, both in depth not very much shorter in width than the blade. The blade is a little bit wider, a little bit deeper, and a little bit taller than this. So the blade is bigger. But interestingly enough, they weigh about the same. I think the Aspire is just slightly heavier, but not much. And one of the best things about the blade is how lightweight this thing is. Um, these are still big. This one doesn't fall over all the time like the blade does. But check this out, Brady. This is for Brady here, since he didn't see this. Here's the Zathog. The Zathog fits on here just as good as a Captain, but better. This thing's a little bit bigger than a Captain. So that fits on there freaking awesome. I just don't have anything that doesn't really work on here. I mean, maybe some of the small stuff looks a little funny on here.
Good man, your sister's gonna be at the state fair? Absolutely. Adam, absolutely make sure that you get me the information about that, and I'm gonna be down there the first week of the fair, and if she's doing it then, then I'll absolutely go by and say hi and see her perform. Absolutely, so talk to me on uh, Discord. So there's the 22, and that is about 0.35. I think we're gonna come down to maybe 40, 40 watts or so. Yeah, dude, man, if you're going to be down there at some point, tell me. I'll be there for the first week. We'll totally hook up and hang out. That has some residue in it. That atomizer. Get out my... Get out my everything. Here is my Twisted Messes. Pro Series, which seems small on this, right? This is message 24. So all of your 24, 25, 26, up to 32, up to 36, really atomizers will look pretty good on this. Here's my Cali. Has a squonk pin on it. Yep, there we go. Not enough watts. Let's go up, baby. On the Avenger, I can just tell it to go up. Amazing. Yum. Yum. Love the Cali so much. Let me put my Nefo back on there before. We're going to have to go here in a few minutes. Charles says that he's not the only one that uses a Q-tip to clean his 510s. That's right. You should always keep Q-tips and paper towels in your desk, y'all. I tell you, it's so useful. Okay, back down to 80 watts. Come on, 80. Yum. Okay, that's it. Vape AM, Wednesday. I love all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Everybody, sorry about the rant about Trump and all that stuff, but I just can't stand having these people who are liars and cheats and thieves in charge of our country. It drives me crazy, and defending them makes me sick to my stomach, and anybody who defends those needs to stop. Stop defending Trump. He is a thief and a criminal and a liar. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Can't believe you believe anything he says. Everything he says is a lie. Okay, love all you. It's 45 minutes in. Tune in Saturday, and we're going to have more fun stuff. I don't want to give away exactly what it is, but I'm hoping that Aspire announces this thing that they sent me so that I can unbox that for you. And if not, we'll unbox something from iJoy or talk about juice. I love all you guys. You guys have a great day. And this is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks.